Interviewer Good morning. My name is Interviewer, and I will be conducting your speaking test today. Could you please introduce yourself? Candidate Good morning. My name is Daniel, and I'm from the United Kingdom. I recently completed my bachelor's degree in journalism. Interviewer, thank you, Daniel. Now, I'm going to ask you a few questions. Let's start with part one of the speaking test. I will ask you some general questions about yourself and your interests. Question one, what are your hobbies and interests outside of your studies? Question two, how do you usually spend your weekends? Question three, have you ever traveled abroad? If so, where did you go and what was your experience like? Daniel Outside of my studies, I enjoy playing the guitar and writing short stories. Playing the guitar allows me to express my creativity and relax, while writing allows me to explore my imagination and craft compelling narratives. On weekends, I often meet up with my friends to jam together or spend time at local cafes, writing and reflecting. I have been fortunate to travel to several countries, but one memorable trip was my visit to Japan. The rich culture, fascinating history, and breathtaking landscapes made it a truly unforgettable experience. I explored bustling cities like Tokyo and Kyoto, visited ancient temples and gardens, and indulged in delicious Japanese cuisine. Interviewer, thank you, Daniel. Now let's move on to part two of the speaking test. I will give you a topic and you will have one minute to prepare before speaking for two minutes on the given topic. Topic, describe a memorable cultural festival or event you have attended. Daniel. All right. One memorable cultural festival that comes to mind is the Edinburgh Festival Fringe in Scotland. It is the world's largest arts festival, showcasing a wide range of performances including theater, comedy, dance, and music. During my visit to the festival, the city of Edinburgh came alive with energy and creativity. The streets were bustling with artists, performers, and visitors from around the world. I had the opportunity to attend various theater shows and comedy performances, which were incredibly entertaining and thought-provoking. One of the highlights was the Royal Edinburgh Military Tattoo, a spectacular display of music, dance, and military precision. It took place at the historic Edinburgh Castle and featured marching bands, bagpipers, and traditional Scottish dances. The grandeur of the event and the breathtaking backdrop of the castle created a truly mesmerizing experience. Moreover, the festival offered a platform for emerging artists to showcase their talents. I stumbled upon intimate music gigs in cozy venues where talented musicians from different genres captivated the audience with their performances. The atmosphere of the festival was electric, with an overwhelming sense of creativity and artistic expression. The streets were adorned with colorful posters and flyers, and people from all walks of life came together to celebrate the arts. Attending the Edinburgh Festival Fringe was an enriching cultural experience. It exposed me to diverse forms of art, allowed me to engage with artists, and broadened my perspective on creativity and self-expression. Interviewer, thank you, Daniel. Now, for the final part of the speaking test, I will ask you a few more questions related to the topic. Question 1. How do cultural festivals contribute to the promotion of a country's heritage? Question 2. In your opinion, what role do arts and culture play in society? Question 3. Do you think it is important for governments to support and invest in cultural festivals and events? Why or why not? 
Daniel Cultural festivals play a crucial role in promoting a country's heritage. They provide a platform for artists and performers to showcase their cultural traditions, whether it's through music, dance, or theater. These festivals not only preserve and celebrate cultural heritage, but also attract visitors from around the world, promoting tourism and boosting the economy. Arts and culture are vital in society as they foster creativity, encourage dialogue, and offer a means of self-expression. They reflect the diversity and richness of human experiences and have the power to inspire, educate, and challenge societal norms. Additionally, arts and culture contribute to social cohesion by bringing people together and creating shared experiences. I believe it is important for governments to support and invest in cultural festivals and events. By doing so, they can preserve and promote their country's unique cultural identity, stimulate the arts industry, and create opportunities for artists and performers. Moreover, these festivals have a ripple effect on the local economy, benefiting various sectors such as tourism, hospitality, and small businesses. Interviewer, thank you, Daniel, for your insightful responses. That concludes the speaking test. Good luck with your future endeavors, Daniel. Thank you very much. It was a pleasure participating in the speaking test.